Hello, everybody. Good morning. I have a word of victory for you for today. The um, Houston has just put, been put under a mandatory face mask um, wearing uh, alert from our uh, Judge Hildalgo and uh, our Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has found that in his estimation um, Judge Hildalgo's um, order is uh, an overreach um, on her part. And it's got me thinking about it um, a little bit. And uh, so here's the word of victory for you. Philippians 2, 14 and 15. This is from the New Living Translation. Do everything without, without complaining and arguing so that, you can, so that no one can criticize you. Live clean and innocent lives as children of God, shining like bright lights in a world full of crooked and perverse people. Yeah, but do everything without complaining and arguing. That's an interesting thing, isn't it? Um, I, I like the uh, J.B. Phillips translation as well from this. Do all you have to do without grumbling or arguing so that you may be God's children, blameless, sincere, and wholesome, living in a warped and diseased world and shining like lights in a dark place. Again, do all that you have to do without grumbling or complaining or arguing. Well, brother, those are paraphrased, and it could be a little better than that. Well, let me give you the English Standard Version while Buddy, my dog, serenades us in the background. Do all without grumbling or disputing. English Standard Version. Do all without grumbling or disputing, that you may be blameless and innocent children of God, without blemish, in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom we should shine like lights. I always um, teach our congregation that um, grumbling or murmuring is, a, is not a good thing in your heart. And I find that within me is the ability to grumble much more so than I would like to. Years ago, I taught our leadership team that um, no matter what the question was that somebody would ask us, our answer to them was, yes, we can and we can do it with joy. I find that uh, I really believe with all of my heart that there's always, always, always something to be thankful or grateful for. So wearing a face mask, hmm, that's an interesting concept, isn't it? Um, here's what I found. The other day, Sandy, uh, I had to go mail a package and uh, Sandy's been very watchful of me, wants me to be safe. And she said, so you wear a mask and gloves. And I thought, oh, I don't want to wear a mask and I don't want to wear gloves. And okay, I'll do it. It's the only way I could get out of the house. So as I took my package and I went, I had to go find a uh, Federal Express store. And when, I, when I got there, the darn store was located inside of a Walmart. Walmart was crawling with people. So I put on my mask. You can see this mask. I got this mask from the Water Tree store. One of our, our members owns a Water Tree store. So I thought, well, I'll buy this one from her. I bought one for Sandy and you can wash it a hundred times. Got silver and stuff in it. So I figure it's pretty good. I put it on and I'm kind of murmuring in the car. What am I doing? And I put the mask on and I put my gloves on and I grabbed my box and I felt really pretty goofy. And I got out of the car and I started walking and there was a lady coming near me, going to her car with a mask on. And I'm telling you, as I got right up next to her, a few steps past her, she let out a sneeze that you would not believe. It was mushy and gushy. I mean, one of those snorter ones. She, as she let it out, I remember thinking, thank you, Sandy, for um, causing me to do what I didn't want to do. She sneezed, and you know, we've got people, Sandy's a three sneezer, she does a triple. You'll, you'll hear her sneeze, she choo, 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 and I'm bless you, bless you, bless you. Wendy, Pastor Wendy, sounds like a squeak toy when she's a choo, a choo. It just is the strangest thing. Then you got people that really let her rip. I kind of blow my ears out at times. But at any rate, when I went into the um, 
the Walmart, I was so grateful that I, and I stopped murmuring. It's a funny thing. I stopped murmuring and thought, well, thank you, Sandy. I'm, I'm not carrying all those cooties or breathing them in or breathing them out. And that lady, whatever she sneezed into her mask is in her mask. So here's the thought. If the Bible says do everything without murmuring or complaining, can you think of anything that murmuring does that's good for you other than solidify a bad attitude in your heart? It's very difficult to be a believer and a doubter at the same time. Now, we've chosen to follow the, the mandates that our government has uh, told us to do. And so um, we, we have a 30 day of wearing a mask. And I find I can say, okay, well, I don't like to do that. I don't want to do it. And I know that some of our people in Montgomery County don't have to wear one. Well, praise the Lord. But if I have to wear one in, in Harris County, praise the Lord. I'm going to praise the Lord anyway. I'm not going to get upset. I'm not going to allow that to get in my heart. I'm going to allow myself to walk in love and joy and in the fullness of God the best I can. So I'm just encouraging you a word of victory. Guard your heart with all diligence, because out of it flows the issues of life. Don't let murmuring and complaining get down inside you. Hey, there's some fun stuff you can do with this if you have a, the attitude and the, uh, the heart to do it. Now watch this. You see this? This is my very expensive mask. This, um, this particular mask, I can wash it a hundred times. It's got silver in it. It, it. This is my outside mask. This is the one I wear when I want people. See, that guy's pretty cool. Now, when I'm working at home, this is my construction mask. Can you see that? This one just is a smaller area, and it just pinches my ears and does all kinds of weird stuff. But it's also a mask. I heard uh, the, the uh, judge say, well, you can make your own mask. You can do whatever you want to with it. And I got to thinking, I'll bet you some of you guys can make some creative masks. I'll bet you you can make masks and have fun with this thing that you don't have to get all twisted and out of shape. You could say, you know what? I'm a drinker of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to walk in love and joy and peace. There's always something to be grateful for, and I'm not going to allow myself to be that person that mumbles and grumbles on the inside. I know you've got too much sense to do it on the outside. Well, hopefully anyhow. So I've got this one. I don't know which one you like better, my real expensive one that I can wash a hundred times, or my not so expensive one that... Um, you don't wash so much. I want to invite you to, uh, if you say, well, I've been murmuring and complaining a little bit. I want to invite you to Friday night. We're going to have a joy fest at church, and we would like to come into your home. We've got something special planned for you this Friday night. It'll be different from, from what you've seen before. You're going to love it. God's given me something for you that I believe is really, really going to help you. Now, so I've got those two masks, but those aren't my favorites. Now, before I let you go, Watch this, this is my favorite. Now, here I come. Let me take this off. Now you can see my short hair, right? That's from my haircut. But when I really wanna do something that's special, and I don't want anybody necessarily to, to know I did it. Excuse me, I dropped something. Oh, that was tough. Watch this. This is my favorite get up. I had to change shirts so that I would match because a pastor that doesn't match, that isn't styling, I can't be that guy. So watch this. Before you go away, if you see this guy in the bank, you can say, that's my pastor. Nobody looks like that but my pastor. He's finally able to wear his hat and nobody knows who he is. If you like this, <laughs> give us a like or something, will you? In the meantime, don't murmur, don't complain, be joyful. Be happy. It's a good life that we have. And listen, wearing a mask can't possibly do you any harm, and it might do some other people some good. So God bless you. That's your word of victory for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Look forward to coming into your homes on Friday, and uh, we're going to have a really good time. God bless you. Don't go out, but give them heaven anyway.